In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I have optimized my life and my environment to support my purpose, my goals, and the vision that I have for my life as well. So I'm gonna break it down in a few different categories. First one that we'll start with is your physical environment, like where you are physically, and kind of like where you go, where you hang out and stuff like that. The next is going to be who you surround yourself with, which honestly is probably like the most important part of it. And I'll talk about how I've built a circle of people around me that support me, that encourage me, and like push me to achieve my full potential. Um, and when you have that, the possibilities are endless, guys. Um, but anyways, if you don't know me already, my name is Jeremy Pogue. I do a lot of high ticket sales, closed almost a mill uh, over the last year, and uh, also help people start and scale online coaching, consulting agency businesses and make a lot of money and help a lot of people doing it. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, the Hawaiian shirt on today. So you know, especially after coming out of a big chest day this morning, you know it's a bad day to be a prospect. Um, but anyways, let's get into it guys. So physical environment. So when I first started my business last year, I was living in my parents' basement and there was a lot of resistance. There's a lot of friction. Now, I love my parents, they're extremely supportive, but at the same time, I just kind of felt like mentally, I was just like a little kid, like a little boy in my parents' basement, right? Whereas now, I wake up, I walk out into my kitchen, my living room, my office, I look out at this, and I automatically think, I'm the man, you know? Like, looking out at this every single day, and I, I don't show that to you guys to like, to brag or show off or anything. I do that to inspire you and encourage you to take that leap if you've been thinking about it. Because I can tell you right now, it's really raised my standards. It's really raised my vision and what I actually want to achieve in life. And kind of like, once you get to this, like I was here in my parents' basement, now I'm at this stage. Now I'm looking up here, right? There's levels to this stuff. I was talking with my uh, my coach, one of my coaches, and we were here and we we're kind of looking down. It's like, man, these people that live here are looking up at us saying, man, I just want to live up there, right? If only I had that apartment. Meanwhile, my buddy and I, we were looking over here at the houses on the hill there, these multi-million dollar mansions. We're like, man, if only I had one of those, I want one of those, you know? So it's like, there, there's levels to this stuff. And I think that your environment, your physical environment plays a huge role in kind of what you, what you get and your mentality and the way that you view yourself, the way that you view the world as well. And I think it's important to obviously stay humble, but to reward yourself. To me, this apartment is a reward for my hard work. It's a reward for the years of sacrifice that I've put in. And yeah, it might be a little expensive, at least to the old Jeremy, but for me right now, for this version, like this is worth every single penny, right? Because it elevates my mindset, puts me on another wavelength every single day. I walk in here, I'm just like, boom, let's go. Let's get to work. It also has an, it has an impact on sales too, right? Because especially in this industry, like people buy results, people buy the lifestyle. And that's exactly what this is selling, right? Nice apartment, beautiful view, home office. That I've always dreamed of, it's been on my vision board for years. Um, and people see that and they'll be more inclined to follow me because A, I look more like an authority because you got nice things, right? There's like that saying, it's like men are sold with their eyes or men buy with their eyes, women buy with their ears or something like that. And most of the people that we sell to are men, maybe just because naturally we're attracted to that. I don't know. Um, but uh, anyways, this, like the expense of having a nice place makes that return back like multiple times and speeds things up a lot quicker. So that's kind of the physical environment part. Now I'm gonna talk about the relational side of things. So the people that you surround yourself with 
is one of the most important factors that determines your success, right? One of my favorite questions is, is this person pushing me further to like, pushing me closer towards my goals and my vision or are they pulling me away from it? And whatever your gut, whatever your intuition says, it's right, right? So whether they're pulling you away from it, cut them, get them out of here, stop talking to them, like literally just eliminate them. <laughs> or if they're pushing you closer, they're inspiring you, they're encouraging you, and they see your potential and they remind you of that, latch onto them, keep them close, because those ones are rare. So a lot of our clients and a lot of people that I speak to, they have a lot of negative influences in their lives. And it really hurts me to see this because at the end of the day, all it is is just like that other person's, like it's just a reflection of their own insecurities because they see you have this big vision for what you want in life and maybe they get intimidated by it. Maybe they get scared because ultimately they would love to have it, but they're afraid to actually do what it takes to make it happen. And when they see other people actually making forward progress when they're not, they try to pull you down to their level. It's like they grab your ankle, they grab on your ankle, try to yank you down, right? And that's not what we have. That we, we can't tolerate that on this journey. We must get rid of them. And I know it sounds a little cutthroat, but it's absolutely crucial that you actually take this advice and, and follow that. Um, I'm very lucky that the people that I have naturally surrounded myself with are very positive, and the people that aren't, I'm just like, why would I even want to hang out with them anyways? So I just kind of get rid of them. But always ask yourself that question. Is this person pushing me for the, like, pushing me closer towards my goals or are they actively taking me away from them? And if they are pulling you away from them, get rid of them. If they are helping you get closer, keep on the, like keep them around and like appreciate them because they are few and far between. But one of the, the biggest things, one of the most impactful things that I did when I was first starting out in business was I started a little mastermind accountability group with five other guys. We're all starting from scratch, starting companies in different niches, and we're all there to support each other and hold each other accountable. Because especially at the start, like accountability was a big thing. And actually having integrity to yourself where you actually follow through with the promises that you make to yourself, that's a skill and it's a muscle that you must build over time. And one thing that really helps is having that external accountability leading to that internal habit. So having that accountability of like every single week we would meet at the same time and day, we would say, okay, my goal is for the next week, like before next week's call is to do this, this, and this. And then you show up to next week's call, you better have done that. Otherwise you look like a jackass and you're gonna get kicked out of the group, right? So it like forces you to actually take action and put one foot in front of another. In, in one foot in front of the other. Um, this is what coaches do, right? My fitness coach, because like, I've been working out for a long time, but I, I just hired a fitness coach six months ago because honestly, like, there's a lot that I don't know. And anyway, since then I've learned so much and I've gotten so dialed in and he's done a great job of holding me accountable to making sure I actually go to the gym six days a week. I track all my calories, track my macros, everything like that. And I actually follow the program to a T because he has the results that I wanted. Therefore, I said, okay, well, he has the results that I want and he is actively living that lifestyle. Well, if I just do what he tells me to do, then I'm going to get that, right? It's the same thing with like a relationship coach, same thing with a, like a business coach, right? Like if you wanna grow your business, here's a shameless plug, book in a call down below, links in the description, or hit me up over on Instagram because we have a process. We've taken like 500 clients through, help multiple people build like seven figure companies and a ton of other ones, six figure companies plus, and then also just a lot of people go full time with their online business. So like we have, we have a process that works. And if you want to just like fast track your results, I would just like hop in the program, do what we say, hold you accountable and like you'll get there a lot quicker and a lot easier. So anyways, um, getting back to it, like, the, the big thing is just like surround yourself with people that actively push you towards your vision and your goals and that support you and encourage you and inspire you. Um, one of the big things as well is like just having people to kind of bounce things off of, right? That's why having mentors are so great. People that have done what you want to do to just kind of like, A, tell you what to do, but then also when you have questions, when things come up, 
you say, hey, I'm struggling with this, like, what's your advice? And they'll just help you kind of make the right, clear decision that's going to benefit you in the long term. Because um, a lot of the time we have blind spots that we don't really see. Like if you've been at the same revenue month, revenue mark for the last like three to six months, well, dude, like you're stuck. You're spinning your tires, right? Face reality. What you're doing is not going to get you to where you want to go. Get help, right? And it's no different in any area of your life. Like I've been working out for years and I just plateaued, right? I wasn't really getting any stronger. Wasn't really looking any better. And then I was like, okay, well, clearly what I'm doing isn't working. I need to find somebody who knows what they're doing and then just do what they tell me to do. And I got the results, right? Clear as day. So anyways, um, action steps for today, very simple. Take an audit of your environment, your physical environment. Does where you are right now make you happy? Or can you go to places that make you happy, make you inspired, make you see the world a different way? I know when I go traveling and, or even just like in my city, if I like really like go up here and up there, go to that neighborhood with these multi-million dollar mansions on the hill and kind of visualize and see myself there. It makes me just like want to get up and, and get to work and put in the work and, and really just grind um, because it really inspires me. So maybe you can like go to places like that. You can go to nice restaurants or nice like coffee shops and nice hotels or something like that to really just like level up your environment because that will just kind of put you on a, you know, you operate on a bit of a higher wavelength, right? And then with your friend group, with the people that you surround yourself with, make sure they're on the same path as you. Make sure they're, they're on the same journey. And if they're not, then like, Unfortunately, it's not gonna work, right? Because even if you're like, if, if we're looking at like a straight line, even if like, you're, if you're going this way, but somebody is 1% off, over time, they go way over here while you go up, like straight ahead, right? I know I'm, I might not be getting the point across very well with my hands there, but like, over time, if you're just going straight like this and they're one degree off, they're gonna veer way the hell over here and it's just not gonna, it's not gonna work out, right? And especially if they're holding you back, and they're trying to drag you down, get rid of them, cut them out. They don't, they don't deserve you, especially if you're watching this video, if you're watching my channel, like we're high value people. We deserve a hell of a lot more than what we have right now and we're trying to grow, right? I'm with you guys, I'm in the trenches every day building this and working on it because that's what we live for, you know? So. If you're, if you're like that and you wanna have a chat and you wanna get help to actually either start or scale your company, let me know. Book in a call down below or DM me over on Instagram and let's chat. So other than that guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope I gave you some stuff to, to think about and stuff to act on because that's really what my goal is for this channel is to give you guys actual practical things that I do every single day that I know for a fact it works. Um, and this is one of the, the most pivotal things that I did to kind of optimize my life and the results in every other area of my life as a result have skyrocketed. So hope this is helpful. If you thought it was good, drop a like, show me some love, make sure you subscribe. Got plenty more bangers like this coming up. And other than that, guys, see you in the next video. Bye.